Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Manuel. Hi, good evening. Good evening, my dear. Good evening. Hello, hello. I hope everybody's doing great. Everybody's okay. Everybody's fine. Well, we're going to get started. It's been some minutes waiting already for people to get connected. So I hope you are all doing fine, at least. And this is our session 21, our session number 21 already. So this is our last week, practically. Let's try our very best to take the greatest advantage that we can from this course, from this level. And hopefully all this works as basis for the following levels that you gotta take, all right? So this is intermediate for the date, Monday the 23rd of, of, of October and our session 21, as I said before. All the usual reminders, we got them right here the attendance which is really important to stay in the session for the 120 minutes and besides that doing the participation as much as possible we got to take two attendance during the whole session and of course participants as they are called on their names should say the word present sessions are also uh <clears throat> to be assigned at the one-on-one -on -one and not permissions allowed. So <laughs> we gotta take responsibility, all right? So the usual behavior, got the, the mute button. But of course, at the time of practicing in your breakout rooms or interacting with your partner, you gotta do your best as well. Cameras, chats, and respect among others. All right, we are on the unit four, the last one from this manual and we are covering the inventory session, right? <clears throat> of course, um, we got started with this unit. We covered already some vocabulary from this unit. So we are just reviewing and going ahead with the following content, right? So I hope you know, expect uh, good interaction, good practice on these topics as well. Well, anything else I might forget, please point it out, let me know, don't hesitate. All right, we're coming from a weekend, so I hope you're all rested, you're all relaxed, you're all fine, you all have recharged energies and that we are ready. So I see messages from Fernando, from Ronald, and from Wendy. The rest of the class, I hope you guys say something. I I know I'm having a bit of issues with my breathing. I think I'm gonna get the flu again, though I'm still here. All right. So I'm gonna have the attendance. Oh Roberto, Esau, you got a photo. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you in person now. And then I see the other people that got a photo and I know what they look like on photos at least. So I'll go with the attendance. Hopefully you can answer and say present. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, some people are still getting connected so we're going to give them some time to be fully connected. All right, we're gonna get started with the attendance. Please be ready. Abigail. Present teacher. How are you? Fine teacher. All ready? Ready. Done with the platform? Mm. Good. Good. All right. Okay, welcome. Atilio. Present. I am oh. driving teacher. 
Is oh, your driving income? Yes, I I will be uh, listening, please. Are you about to get home? Yes. All right, be careful. Elizabeth and Stephanie. Hello, good evening. So we're going to have great participation from Stephanie tonight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, how was your weekend? Uh, um, it was nice. I got to new places. I knew new places. Uh -huh. You went there for the first time? Yes. Which places? Um... San Vicente, El Rinconcito, Mira Flores, something like that. Where is and that located? In San Vicente. So you are from San Vicente? Uh, no, my family is from San Vicente. And you are from? San Salvador. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you live in? San Salvador. All right. Great. Nice. <laughs> so you went on a trip? Yes, with my family. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Great to hear that. All right, Emerson, Alexander. Present teacher. How's everything? Well, pretty good. Can't complain. All right. Well, Today it's at a good work? Weekend. It was a good weekend. Today at work? Well, today at work, uh, a little shaky in work, but everything good. All right. Would you please remind me where you work and what you do? Well, I work in a... As a help desk technician, getting support mm -hmm. in San Salvador. In person or online? Uh, uh, hybrid. All right. Both? Both. Okay, nice. So you, you spend like the whole day in an office or you go places? Well, the whole day, is, it's, it's for days. Some days I go to the office and the other days I work from home. But every all in the, in the same week. Nice, that's great. Okay, great. Well, yeah. next person is Fernando. I don't know if he's gonna be able to speak. He's still at work. <laughs> he's pressing immediately. <laughs> okay, Fernando, we got you. All right, we got Francisco, Mr. Acuña. Mr. Francisco Acuña, not available. <laughs> okay. Next one, Hazel. Hazel, Hazel. Hazel not, is lost. Julissa, Jamilet. We don't get any Julissa. Unfortunately, Carla Ivania. Carla Ivania. Neither. All right, Luis Javier. Not yet connected. No. Luis Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm very fine. How have you been? Sorry? How have you been? I'm fine. I've been good, but a little tired because I I had to repair my car. Oh, Jesus. How many kilometers do you have to run with your car every day? Um, 50? 50? About 50? Yeah. Okay. 100. 100. Well, yeah, 100. Because it's a round trip, right? It's a round trip. Oh, my God. That's a long distance for a job. <laughs> yeah, it's a very long day. Yes, sir. I went to my parents' house on Sunday, and when I was coming back, something was going on in San Rafael Cedro. So I spent from 3.30 until 7 p.m. that I came home. I almost killed myself on the road. <laughs> That's too much time. Yeah. The last Saturday, I had the problem with my car because the 
the rat, I don't know how to say, la manguera, una de las mangueras de, del sistema de refrigeración is broken. Oh, the cooling. Yes, the system cool. hose was I have to, mm -hmm. yeah, I have to change many parts to, to, to run. Yeah, and, and once you, you, you get into a problem, they find like many. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like the consequences of opening and, and checking yes oh. uh, the big problem is that is was saturday and the mechanic no work this day on oh he doesn't work on weekends yeah all the weekend yeah mm, so you got your car fixed until today no 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 uh, the yesterday i finished oh you fixed it yourself Yes, yes. Oh my god. Where did you learn to do that? Um by yourself, by videos. No, um because I I study electronic, but my my last project was uh, to to create a circuit uh, to control the car with the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, this moment and I learned so much about mechanics. My goodness. And you were taking a course? Or you were Sorry? studying online? You were you were taking a course in person or you were studying online? No, um for my own my own You were teaching for... yourself. <laughs> yes. But I have a, a many many friends, they are mechanics. Oh nice. Well, thank God you could fix your car. I don't know if it's a bless or <laughs> <laughs> because now your friends are going to start contacting you to get their yeah. car fixed. Yeah. And did it work? Yes, yes. So you use it today? Yes. And you spend the whole weekend fixing it? Yes, all weekend. Did you find a, a, a place open to buy the, the pieces? Yes, one one store, Empresa Repuestos. I know, work. because most of the stores are closed on Sunday. But Empresa Repuesto works. It's the only, the only store that, that sells pieces that opens on on Sundays, I guess. Because yes. once I got my battery dead, and I was like trying to get to the store, but thank God I found that one. But they were about to close. I say, yeah, I need a battery. I, so, I, don't, I don't have to learn more mechanics. I need a new car. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the solution. <laughs> yeah. That would be yeah, me too. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm glad you could fix your car. That's a big thing. All right. Thank you. Magdiel Esau. Present. All right. You got one minute talk. Tell us about your work today. Um are you still at work? No. Oh I, thank God. And, uh, at home. Okay. But it was it was okay. All right. Was, remind, uh, remind us about your job. Um, I work as a mechanic. Really? So you were just enjoying whatever we were saying. <laughs> yes. How solidary you are. Where do you work? Um, I work in U.S. Embassy. Oh really? And you get those cars fixed? Mm, or sometimes, but they, they, sometimes I repair car, but the the main working is is machineries, mm. electric Wait. generators, and gardening machines. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> That's an interesting job, isn't it? Yeah. How long it's, have you been at the embassy? Um, one year and a half. All right, kind of recent. Yeah. Okay. Do you see? Do you still have the classes over there, of English? Yes, I. I haven't. I haven't. I'm taking a, another class. Mm -hmm. In the into the embassy. Who used to be your teacher before the American school? Um, 
since four four months four mm -hmm. months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we started with uh, American, American school. But before uh -huh. that, did you used before to receive classes with ITCA? With ITCA. With ITCA. Did you receive classes with ITCA teachers? Yes. Who was your teacher? Um, I don't remember his name. It was a man. Yeah, it's a man. Uh, I was a, a teacher woman, but I don't remember. Did you get to know exactly. Roxana? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Do you know? We're, we're friends. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> what a small world. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're friends. Actually, uh, I worked for Ed Cup for so many years as well. That's nice. <laughs> Actually, I met her on Saturday, so I will I will let her know. <laughs> yeah, actually, I didn't tell her because, uh, you know, we usually talk about different stuff. We just go for a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, as Roxana was... Uh, uh, the coordinator. Coordinator, yeah. Uh -huh. And then she got other teachers, Edson, Raul. Yes, and, I know. And Raquel. I know... I knew uh, Edson mm -hmm. and Raul. I, I know all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. We didn't have this conversation before, but it's Thank fine. You. It's great. Give me just a second. I need to get my laptop connected, please. All right, the next person will be Manuela Alexander. Manuel. Sorry, yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Your one minute talk. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Already? Uh, yes. All right, tell us about your work. My work. Mm -hmm. Well, I work for a technical support about a little problem, but it's a point of sale. I, I support our store about payments in all the, the country in Latin, Latin America. Latin America? Wow, that's big. Yeah, it's. Very, very well. It's much country. Many countries, yes. And you're in charge of the paying system. Yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. So you, okay. Which country gives more problems? Yeah, I think it's El Salvador <laughs> because it sees uh, uh, we receive a call in the store or uh, El Salvador. For issues, well, for issue or many, they had a pro mini problem. They, they call. They call you. The, yeah, they call. Me. <laughs> they call me and for this. I don't uh, find the number zero, and they call you. Yeah. Really. For, for me, it's very Annoying. more difficult. How many stores do they have in the country? Hmm. 27. 20, 27. Yeah. I thought it was less. No, it exists very more. Uh, very, really? yeah. A lot. I yeah. thought it was only a few, like in, in the shopping malls, and that's it. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think too, but yeah, it exists there more. Are many? Yeah. All right. Nice. What's the hardest thing? Receiving those calls. <laughs> yeah, the call is the more difficult. Part, really and part. today, how was your day? So, so because today is very 
uh, easy because they when well, they don't call all the time. Because on Mondays there are not many issues. Yeah, means yeah, it's the more common than Monday. The do you give Friday is uh, very, the worst. Very hard. Yeah. Uh, worst. Do you give technical support on weekends? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, but two Saturdays. So you don't yeah, have weekends. Yeah. Mm, uh, I, sorry, how do you say descanso? I rest. I rest uh, two more, two Saturdays and I work one. But a Sunday, no. No. Oh, thank God. So they don't have any, any support on Sunday. Or yes. somebody else works on Sunday. Yeah, but other uh, for my partner work. Another on partner works on Sunday. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wow, that's interesting. You see, everybody has something interesting to share. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I will remember Manuel for giving technical support to this store system. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. In case, in case I go. <laughs> All right, Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Hi, Marilyn. Your time to talk. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about your work. So today, sorry, was mm -hmm. fine. I think tomorrow will be frustrating because I buy suppliers and I have to see carefully which supply I buy tomorrow. What type of suppliers? Yeah. What? What do and they supply? Um, so I pay more than 100 supply for that reason. It's Different type of suppliers? Yeah. The most common ones? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how to carry this. <laughs> what are the products that they supply? Okay. So, um, how about it? Mm, suppliers about the supermarket because mm -hmm. then I I work in a at administration are about supermarket El Nuevo Milagro. Mm -hmm. And yeah. where is that located? In Santa Tecla, in Santa Ana. Oh really? In Santa Tecla where exactly? Yeah in from El Pollo Campero. In downtown, yeah, near the market or near the yeah. parks, yeah, really? near the, in a super selected in the mm -hmm. Las familiar. So, where all the supermarkets are located, yeah. Oh, wow, is it good? Yeah, it is. Yeah, for the price, they have good offers, good deals, good prices. Yeah, it's similar about the El Baratillo. It's located in, in Santa Tecla también. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been working there? Um, two years. For two years? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, wow. And you live in Santa Tecla? Y no, I live in Nuevo Costatlán. Mm -hmm. And you travel or you work from home? Yeah, but... I think that's 10 minutes. At the 10 bus. minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow. You have a shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the shortcut? Mm, how? I mean, 10 minutes from your house to your work. Yeah, but in, um, in the driving. car. In the, in the car, yeah. Driving in the car, but... 20 minutes at the bus. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it's very close. <laughs> so there is a there is a, a specific route, a specific street where you take. Um, um, um a carretera al Puerto de la Libertad. Uh-huh. The road yeah, from in El Puerto. Front in, the, in the front in the um Oh wow, I didn't know that. I know Kumasawa because I know La Esen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's on the other side of the road. Exactamente. 
Wow, how interesting. I need to go more often there. I have a mm -hmm. friend who has a project in La Libertad, but he goes to Teotepeque. And okay. I went to Teotepeque to help him with the project. Yeah, but I think that it, far, far, far. it was um como muy conocida cuando nadie fue alcalde. Right, right. It was very, very popular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Marilyn. That I didn't know from you. <laughs> nice. We're gonna go to 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 see the place, the supermarket. Okay. Mm -hmm. One okay. of these things. Because I I I mean. I used to work at in Santa Tecla for many years. But okay. now I work on the other side of the city. <laughs> I work in Sayapano. <laughs> All okay. right. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Don Mario. Hello. Hola. Why Hola. people call you Don Mario? Sí. I, I see another person say Don Mario. Do you have a partner from your work here? Perdón, no le escucho muy bien. Do you have a partner from work here? Uh, no. No? Really? La pregunta es que si tengo compañeros de trabajo aquí en el grupo. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, compañero, no. Really? no. I think somebody is your partner. <laughs> okay, tell uh, us about your work. Perdón. Cuéntenos de su trabajo. Tell us about your work. Um, I am a multiple post. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, I am a computer technician, but, but uh, in my work, I have to do a lot of things. How do you say? I'm in charge of files. I'm um, in charge of files. I'm in charge of dice emisión de credencial de minoridad minors identification or ID so you work in a city hall uh, yes city hall la libertad la libertad sí, all right nice Okay, what's the most difficult part of your work? Mm -hmm. Um lidiar con la gente. <laughs> Deal with people. Yes, it, uh, why? Uh, entre otras ocupaciones. Mm -hmm. Me toca eh, atender al público. Customer service. Um, ¿cómo se dice? Build, build a certificate. Uh -huh. Birth certificate. Uh, uh -huh. And why people is, I mean, why people are difficult? Pardon? Why is it difficult to deal with people? Oh, because the new project of RPN is a uh, difficult, very, very difficult, uh, la emisión de birthday certificate. Oh, really? Uh, so you have a program to, to create those certificates? Yes, uh, con el nuevo método es que tarda mucho más y... Uh, really? Y la gente... Get desperate. Molesta. And how long have you been at the city hall? Pardon? How long? How many years have you worked in the city hall? Oh, 20 years. 20 years. Oh, my goodness. You have a lot of experience. Mm, so, so. So, so. 
My... Well, you're going to be the next major of El Puerto. Perdón. Usted es el próximo alcalde, the next major. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no quiere. La, la política es... <laughs> you don't want ah. to be a politician. Ah, jamás. Not interested. No, I'm not interested. Okay, I'm not interested. You can say that. I'm not interested. Okay, thank you for sharing. Very interesting. Very interesting to know about your job. Oh, All right. Roberto de Saúl, Celaya. I saw Roberto somewhere. Maybe he left. Nope. Something went wrong, probably. Ronald? Present. Okay, let's make a refresh of your job. Uh, okay, um, I work in a consulting firm and we provide a advisory and a strategic and financial, um, and financial operations mm -hmm. uh, across all the region of Central America and Dominican Republic. Uh, because the the teams are located in the different in the different countries, and we work with regional clients. Even if there is a project uh, uh, with international clients, do you use English at work? Uh, in some in in, in specific projects, because mm -hmm. it it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are some opportunities that is possible to. Um, uh, to work in a in a job with an international client, mm -hmm. and normally and the and the major part of the time is um is uh, with uh, with clients in Latin America, but uh, it depends on the operation. Most of the reports or all the information that we that we research. All the or or the tools or the websites that we that we research are all in English, so it's very um, the, so it's it's very common to mm -hmm. to use English resources. And how long have you been working there? Uh, for two and a half years. All right, and before that, mm -hmm. what do you used to do? Uh, what? Before that job, what do you used to do? Uh, I were I was working in Banco Arico, uh, in bank. Uh, so you graduated in finance. Uh, economics, economics and business. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, with some um, uh, with uh, specialization in finance, in in data analytics, and all this this trend. This trend so you have everything. Get a complete uh, career. Yes, the uh, it, it is very interesting times. Interesting. Oh wow! And what about your expectations, your plan for the future? Uh, about my a working about career. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a working career. <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, at this point, I'm continue uh, discovering what I. Uh, for example, when I when I'm in a job interview. Mm -hmm. And the question mm -hmm. about that, how do you see how do yourself you see yourself in five years? <laughs> yes, for ten years, so <laughs> it's a very it's a very long long perspective. So uh -huh. uh, currently, I don't know if what I'm talking what I'm talking uh, what I'm doing right now, I will be doing in ten years. So I I I want to. La revolución causa ahora con la eliminación del chat. I want to to explore. Uh, Explore different uh, different ways, hobbies. If the if the opportunity uh, and the uh, and the work permits permits mm -hmm. that, so mm -hmm. I want to explore and maybe I don't know if if I if I will uh, if in ten years I I will be doing another uh, another thing that currently starts uh, as a hobby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Which are your hobbies? Uh, my hobbies or what I want to what I want to develop is the uh, cooking. Uh, I Thank I me. was um, I I was doing uh, 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 a a course. A, 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 a <laughs> course. It, it was a, a 
a program of uh -huh. one uh, of one and a, and a half year. One and a half but year. It was, and yes, a uh, professional, professional, a uh, chef, professional diploma. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that is, is like a career, mm -hmm. but it was it, it was too stressing between the <laughs> because jobs you were working. And, uh -huh. If you had been doing uh -huh. just that, it would have been fun. Uh -huh. And so currently, it, it, um, of a class of maybe twenty persons, uh, maybe seventy seventy five percent, around fifteen people. Uh, were there to develop their career. It's like a, a career. And uh -huh. that they are That's what they uh, wanted to dedicate to. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. In another ones, we we work. Uh, you were taking we were it working, uh, just as a hobby. Uh -huh. and, we're, and we're taking it as, as a hobby, but I uh -huh. think that I, it, it is It is compassion. really demanding. It's really demanding. It demands full time, yeah. full concentration, full practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, so wow. In my, uh -huh. So my plans are to take a practice on myself, and when I and when I consider myself that I am, uh, I am I'm enough ready. I will uh, I will restart. I will restart to finish uh, to finish the program. Okay. Do you plan to set your own business? Uh, I have I, I have thinking that, but I, I'm not sure uh, mm. because uh, uh, it was. Uh, what we were talking the other time uh, about the uh, associated risk uh, to to be an entrepreneur, uh, and mm -hmm. I think that is a very uh, it's a very interesting idea. Uh, is but I don't know. It depends the conditions currently, the condition of the country, especially for example in the, in a food uh, in a food entrepreneurship with uh, currently with a with a high prices, the inflation, the the all all is uh, all is very expensive. And so, a lot of competitors. <laughs> uh, yes. Many people are running business on on food. Yeah, my brother just started, you know, his entrepreneurship, and mm -hmm. he's struggling. I mean, he's not here in so Salvador. He's doing it in Milwaukee, but still, he has mm -hmm. invested and invested, and of course, he has to wait until he see, you know, like some income, some some revenues. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's a very interesting idea, and I think that it's opportunities, but uh, but but uh, it um it requests uh um a, a little the opposite of aversion, uh like appetite, a high appetite of, of risk to take to take a decision. So it's a thing that I want to uh, I I'm not uh, how do you say cerrado? This is the same. Close. I'm not close. I'm not, not close to that idea. Uh -huh. I'm not close to the idea, but mm -hmm. I think that it would, that it could be a, a medium and large class, a, a medium and large uh, time a place. Uh, like a long term, long term. Uh, a long term, medium and long term, uh -huh. not in the short, not yeah. in the short. Term. Oh my God! How interesting! <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for sharing. I bet. Yeah, I've heard this sort of explanations before but that's what i say refresh my mind you know sometimes i tend to forget because we tend you know just to focus on developing the content so nice victor noe is victor here uh -huh, victor victor i think roberto is back Hey, Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What happened? I have an issue because issue? I am... No, no, no. It's, uh, oh, uh, I am coming in house. Coming home. Coming home, yes. All right. Yes. Are you available to participate? Uh, I can listen, teacher. Can listen. Are, are you available to participate right now? Participate. Yeah, you got a one minute talk describing your job. My job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So go uh, ahead. Okay, describe my job. Uh, actually, I am I am working in in a call center. My work is basically. 
uh, it's like a customer service of a bank. Mm -hmm. It's a specific uh, agricola bank, mm -hmm. bank agricola. Mm -hmm. So my 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 job is attend to the customer with the problems, with the credit card, with the uh, insurance, for example, and all the issues that a customer can can have. I I have to attend. How so, long have you been working for this call center? Actually, uh, a few months only. Really? Uh, few months ago, I I started. Uh, in been, the, I mean, yes. What made you decide for this job? Uh, because I think that is, uh, in compared to my, to my previous, previous job, uh -huh. it was a little, a little best. Uh, actually. For my for the option of the working at home, yes, I think that it was a good option to to uh, study, for example, to study or or more time, or, you know. So you work from uh, home? How many days? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I I work at home in general, mm -hmm. but some days I I have to to present on site. You have to go right. on site. So today was yeah. one of those days. Yes, yes, because um, we are in a, a capacitation a train. and a training. Yes, uh, a train, yes. Because the train right. full, full uh, on site, right? Oh yeah, and definitely. That's... Yeah. And yes. what are your plans for the future? For the future. Actually, I am is I am study uh, programming, and study programming in, uh, because I like uh, all the, Develop for example, information, yeah, development, uh, uh, stuff. So I like it, and so I. So you're studying my, this career my, my, at the university. Yes, in my university, my okay. university. Yes, I, I try to to finish my job, my career. So and after uh, find a, a job with in my area. Uh -huh. Yes, in my area. Oh nice. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. So hard to work in uh, study, but it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> we all have been through that. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, Salvo, you cannot just a study <laughs> that would be yeah, a yeah. total privilege that only few people can do that but the rest the mortal ones we have to work in a study all yeah, right yeah. <laughs> i know thank you vidal thank you vidal i don't see vidal anywhere no hello Oh wow, that good evening. Hi. I'm here. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Would you like to participate? Mm, okay. Go ahead. Okay, and um, my word. This is the uh, days we are running. We co workers. And because Miss Universe will soon arrive. <laughs> it's true. Can and, I get a can I get a free pass? Yeah. <laughs> and we must work um subterraneo on underground. And underground. Underground project and the centro historico and Jean National and uh -huh. Zona Rosa. And everything has yes. to be finished before the, the Miss Universe. Yes. I, I uh, we have um hasta October 31. 31st on, Hall on Halloween. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to inaugurate all the projects finished. <laughs> and, yes. what, and what company do you work for? Um, I I work for Ser Profing, but professional service and provide to Tigo. Uh, so you are in charge of this uh cable system and all that. 
Sorry, teacher. You work for the company, Tigo. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. and I work in outsourcing and profit service. Ah. So they, okay, in engineering. Yes. That's why you are you are working with this project for for Miss Universe. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes wow! How interesting. Okay, very good. But sí. I think the center historical is gonna look beautiful in La Zona Rosa too. <laughs> um, I haven't seen the 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 gin Adolfo Pineda yet. I saw some videos, but I haven't seen it, like live yet. Nice. She is my competence. <laughs> yeah, right. She works for outsourcing. She said. Yo, Alberto, <laughs> claro. <laughs> oh, somebody else works for Claro. <laughs> Yes, oh, Lynn Atilio. Ah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, I don't know if I can say this, but the only company that has. <laughs> 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 no, I won't say anything. I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. But at the beginning, I remember that in my in my hometown, in my parents' hometown in Ilovasco. If you have any other company, there was there was no signal. Only Claro. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Is, is the reason why we are the best company? I know it's because you have all the all the the antennas and all the the signal from the, from Antel. <laughs> yeah. I know, <laughs> because that's how everything is started, right? Anyways, we're not talking about the companies anymore. We're talking about Miss Universe. So if you can have free passes to yes. Miss Universe, let us know. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That would be nice. And we have Waldir, I think, because Vidal didn't answer. And yes, and Carlos. Waldir, are you available? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Waldir. How's it going? Fine. Tell us, summarize. In a nutshell. <laughs> okay, so my main job is mm -hmm. I work my ah my main job is uh my main job is as a, a research assistant in a public opinion institution. Mm -hmm. So I have the organization and the preparation for the survey they, they do. <laughs> I have to, to analyze the data. Uh, and, but there are also like some activities not related to that, like driving uh, for to transport something, uh, go to, <laughs> yeah, um, or for example, going to, like encuestador, I don't know how to say. <laughs> survey, passing surveys. Uh, I have to pass survey, so I go around all the country. Really? Yes. What's the... the the farthest place you uh, you have ever been? Mm, what, San... Near Guatemala. Near Guatemala. Really? Yeah, I, I, yeah. No, it's, it was. In Santa Ana, uh -huh. we, we we were like in a canton, uh -huh. and well, a there was area. a mountain that divided divide the suburb <laughs> from Guatemala. Guatemala. Yes, oh, so really? I can see Guatemala from that place. Have you ever and been on I, the other side, like in La Unión or Morazán? Also, but not so, but it was like, not that like far. in the center, uh, in the center of uh -huh. La Unión. Ah, okay. So I'm in not, the city. Not in, like, in the world behind the ah, city. Okay, nice. Yeah. Did you like the weather? It was very hot <laughs> in every place. The last and you time were sweating. Life. Yes, it was horrible. <laughs> they say that it was like, it was the first time that I was like passing surveys. And the supervisor said that I was so lucky that my first time here 
was in like the hottest time of the, the year and it was like the hottest time that they were in the hottest passing. place of the uh, country <laughs> yeah i remember that in la union one time what it was like uh 42 degrees <laughs> in uh, yeah and I remember there's also some puppies that were like, they have a lot of hair, and I don't know how they survive in that in poor, that, poor in little that animals. Yes, yes, I remember once I was going to Costa Rica, and of course, when you go by land, the border is Pasaquina, right? So we made a stop mm -hmm. in Pasaquina. My goodness, I felt like it was, I was in the microwave only. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we were in the store in the in the gas station. There was AC. There was air conditioner. And then we went out. My God, it was like mm -hmm. all hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, I I couldn't believe it. It was still El Salvador. <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. why it is so hot. As yeah. well, once we went also to that that time it was in March. It was March or April. We went to this place near the beach in Sosonate. And I remember one of my cousins was all the time saying, it's too hot, it's too hot. And I got embarrassed <laughs> because my friend was like, normal, she lives there. So she didn't feel uh, that hot. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this institution is from the government? No, no, it's, it's private. A private institution. And besides that? Mm, that's my main job. I have also another job as a researcher and, and more like, yeah, that more like, no, nah, that's, that doesn't. Hmm? Like a freelancer. No, it's a, also a researcher, but it's more, that does, that, in that, it doesn't happen like, anything answers in just another job just another job <laughs> and when do yes. you do that job on weekends in, in weekends and what's your major what what was the career that you studied at the university i studied economics oh really mm -hmm. i want to graduate the in like us in a week. <laughs> in a week, it's true, you told us. So next week, you're graduating. Yes. From what university? Uh, UCA. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So I, uh, you are graduating with the master's too? Mm, master. With the master's and all the other careers? No. Because I have a friend who is graduating this Saturday from a master's no, degree no. in research. No, no, I, I'm a licenciado, a bachelor. Right? I the, know, I know. But you graduate um, with all the other careers and the master's degrees uh, too. I I don't know, but uh, but uh, I, I, there was, uh, you know, only... Um, I think everybody graduates in the same ceremony. Yes, but in different time. Uh huh. But I don't know if because it's yeah, enough. my my friend is graduating this this Saturday. I think is is it on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So my friend is graduating from a master's degree in investigation. I think as well in research. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And he's also from Buka. so maybe he knows you. <laughs> <laughs> in economics I'm, I'm gonna tell him probably all right and carlos we still have carlos pending is carlos participating i bet no all right Okay. Well, as I was explaining at the beginning, we started, yes, with this lesson, with this unit and inventory, right? 
So in some classes ago, we were developing and we were describing the importance of an effective inventory management. I hope you already started uh, solving and completing the exercises from this unit, all right? So we discussed about this, okay, if your company handle or items with expiration dates, okay, the way they do it, or what happens with products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market, right? So we practice with this conversation as well, uh, describing what inventory management means. We were also <clears throat> saying what happens with this uh, products that expire or that have an expiration date or things that are out of season that are not relevant to the market anymore. So we were given some ideas, we were saying what to do and how important it is to manage inventory properly or accurately, right? So then we have this vocabulary that definitely it's related to <laughs> inventory right so stock inventory tracking pos or pause point of sale restock is polish her levels and first in first out so we were describing and giving the definition then we were writing sentences as well so for each of the for each of the concepts right and the words in meanings regarding inventory. And then we got to this part in which we were calculating the right amount of inventory in stock or how to determine the right price for my inventory. We're also organizing an inventory managed system. So, and this conversation also introduced how to use adverse to describe actions or to describe other adverse or other adjectives properly and how we form the adverse in the English language out of an adjective. So that's, those are the things that we've been going through so far on this lesson. All right. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to, let's say, take a look and review, kind of take a double check or make a double check on the vocabulary that we have covered so far. And then probably you can also compare your answers on the platform exercise it, and discuss or ask questions to clarify probably our partner's doubts. So that's what we're gonna do. Have some minutes to review, double check the content that you are supposed to manage at this point. And if you have any question, you may discuss with your partners in the same group, right? So, but double check your manual, see what you are supposed to be, you know, studying, completing. And if you have questions, you definitely go ahead and ask your partners, all right? I will give. Hi, everyone. Um, which page is the, the lesson? 
I think it's the uh, page uh, 36, but I'm still uh, opening the the file in, in my laptop. I don't know if you already have it. No. Okay, let's, uh, let me see. Mm. Okay. Well, you need uh, inventory. It's, it was the warehouse page uh, 33. 33. Inventory, I think. The Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. It's the page. Oh, I forgot. Because there's a lot of same, <laughs> the same title inventory, but I think they are unit four, I think. Well, uh, there is Steve and Anna trying to find out the location of two products they sit in their warehouse. I think it's that bad. Quite sure. Uh, teacher. Are you here? Uh, hello, teacher. Well, but I think uh, it's only a, uh, only a uh, repaso, forgot the word. Yeah, I think it's the page 30, 36 or 37. I remember that there was a conversation in that page, but yeah, but it's uh, 37, I think. Uh, yeah, Steve and Anna. Mm -hmm. So it's Steve and Anna are trying to find out the location of two products they received in their warehouse. Take turns to practice in the conversation. But, uh, do you have the, the PDF? Yes. Okay. Um, Okay, you want to go first? Okay, I will be Steve. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 good planks, but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay. Okay. Do you want to switch at all? Sure. Sure. I will stick. Okay. Uh, it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we bought an order for a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order from the order was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, 
The manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plants, and it seemed that the crate was, the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, so what item is Steve looking for? So Steve is looking for the wooden planks. Mm, yes. Yes. Let, let me try if I can type here. Um, no, I can't. No, what? Who placed an order for wooden boards? Uh, the wooden boards, the, the, the order was placed from for by by the manufacturer. And uh, why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Mm. Because the order was recorded wrong and the gray was placed in a wrong dock. Yeah, and the other, the 200 were recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems the clay was placed in the wrong dock, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that this, this issue, it should be 200, I mean 200, right? Mm -hmm. But they recorded as 20, 200. <laughs> what a big issue from logistics, right? Yeah, someone is going to lose his job. Yeah. I wouldn't like to be that guy <laughs> when my boss <laughs> asks for that, that, that missing wooden. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man.
Okay. Did you share? Did you practice? Did you exchange ideas with your partners? Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah, we have reached up to this point, right? These were the last concepts that we uh were discussing. Okay. And how to make adverbs from adjectives efficient, efficiently, accurate, accurately, consistent, consistent, regular, regularly, right? These were some of the examples. By adding the suffix ly, we can make an adjective into an adverb. And of course, an adverb helps us to describe the way things are done, actions, right? Mainly. All right. We got this exercise, use the steps above as a guide and design a basic plan to organize an effective inventory management system. I think we won't be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on. And definitely uh, design the proposal to implement a cycle count program. And then how do companies keep their inventory count accurate and how often should a warehouse keep count on their inventory? So these questions, I think you've been discussing already. But for the ones that didn't have the, the opportunity to discuss or to exchange ideas with a partner. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, take a look at him, right? First of all, try to describe or define what a cycle count program is, and then how do companies keep their inventory count accurate? So how, how do you think companies do that? And how often should a warehouse keep count on of their inventory? So I'll give you a couple of minutes for you, for you to think about the answers and then share your answers or your ideas, opinions, that's fine.
Okay. All right. Anybody would like to participate and say how how do you think companies keep their inventory count accurate? Any idea? Or if not, you can answer the other question. How often should a warehouse keep counts on their inventory? You can also do it through the chat if you like. All right, so I'll give you some more minutes, some more time probably. All right, for some ideas, probably we can just take a look at this cycle. So that's what usually they called the count cycle, right? Review records, print out, print or upload right? reports, count, like basically counting, investigate and reconcile, alter procedures, adjust records, and calculate the I R A and repeat. So this is practically a cycle. So they usually do that. So cycle counting is a popular inventory management technique where subset or inventory is counted in a specific locations or specific days. I don't know if you've ever uh, been to a business that they say, oh, it's going to be closed because of the inventory. So they're counting practically. And on a recruiting schedule, cycles counting programs are created to replace once a year physical count or to count a specific items on a more regular basis. So that's what it works like. And of course, the inventory record accuracy. That's what the IRA is a measure of how closely official inventory records match the physical inventory. Many managers equate uh, inventory records accuracy with cycle counting, but there is a lot more to do. So the units of measurement are either dollar-based or pound-based. And of course, because of that, we have this uh, questions regarding this topic and the conversation. I, uh, yeah, I bet you've been practicing this already, but just in case for the ones that didn't have that opportunity, 
I will just reread it. So Steve and Anna are trying to fill out the location of two products they received in their warehouse. They turns practicing the conversation. Steve starts the conversation and he says, it says here in inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find it in, I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. So these were the issues, right? We have um, a conversation, I mean, to practice the the vocabulary, the structure that we've been uh, yes, describing so far. So I guess we have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation once again. Or should I say names? Let me see. Yes, Manuel, thank you. Volunteers. Manuel volunteers first. Someone else? Some... All uh, right. I volunteer. Yes, thank you. All right, Manuel, let me see. And Emerson. Oh, Magdiel also. <laughs> okay. So let's start with uh, Manuel and, and Magdiel then. And then Emerson, do it with somebody else. Thanks. All right. Ready? Uh, yes. All right. One, two, three. Go. It says here in inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, planks but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Who was the next one? <laughs> it's my turn, teacher. Or... Yes, go ahead. Okay, thank you. 200 wooden plant. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see uh, if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a create of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden bars were recorded as 20 wooden plants, and it seems the crate great was placed in the brown duck. All right, thank you very much. Somebody else? Okay, we got Emerson and someone else. At one, <laughs> at two. <laughs> How about Marilyn? Would you like to practice the conversation with Emerson? Hello, hello. Hey, Luis. Are you ready? Yes. So, Emerson, let's start, please. Okay. It says here in inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember I remember we got an order from manufacturer. Let me see if I can find a record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables, by the way. 
The manager is also asking for credit electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards we are recorded as 20 wooden pla planks, and I and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. All right, nice, very good. Uh, take care. Yes, sir. Uh, the pronunciation from manufacture or manufacture? Manufacture. Manufacturer. Oh. Yes, oh, because okay. of the R. <laughs> manufacturer <laughs> is the one that manufactures. <laughs> yeah, manufacturers, okay. actually. All right. Okay, All right. Anyone else or anything else? No? All right, I bet you also work on the exercise of this conversation, which is a simple exercise and just about answering three questions, right? Okay, what item is it still looking for? And who placed an order for wooden boards? Why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to answer these questions. And if you already have the answers, I mean, you can raise your hand and give us the answer.
All right. Let's see the answer. What item is Steve looking for? Mm -hmm. Anyone has the answer? Two hundred wooden planks. That's right. Two hundred wooden planks. Okay. Did you find the meaning of wooden planks? He's looking for two hundred wooden planks. Uh huh. Wooden is madera, but I don't know what this. It's como repisa. Planks. Yeah, uh -huh. but flat, like the type of wood they use to to cover the the floor of the houses, sometimes. I guess you can show you. I'm gonna show you a picture in a while. All right, who plays in order for wooden boards? Mm -hmm. Any idea? What is the question? Oh yeah, the number two, who plays in order for wooden boards? Places. Yeah, who made the order? You? No, Anna. Anna? Steel. 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from? Manufacturer. The manufacturer, yeah. Yeah, the order was from the people who manufactured tables, so it was from the manufacturer. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to get this. Okay. The manufacturer. And why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Uh huh. And plus, because the wooden boards were recorded as twenty only, <laughs> and the crate was placed on or in the wrong dock. Sorry. In the wrong dock. All right. Yeah, because they were not recorded correctly and they were not placed correctly either. All right. Nice. Okay, before anything else, I'm gonna delete this because it doesn't allow me to move all the things right here. Let me just, oh, go a little bit. Not actually here. If you see manufacture, I see action from manufacture only put the R because in this case, manufacturer ends with an E. So you just put the R and you become from manufacturer, which is the action to manufacturer, which is the person. It happens with many, many words in English that from the verb, you can get to the noun by only adding ER. Yes. From the action sing to the person, you become a singer. Yes, from the action teach, you put the R and you become teacher. Paint, painter. Yes, so usually comes from the verb. So that's why they teach this uh, lesson with the suffix. Okay, 
So we just use the suffix er usually. And then from the action, you have the noun. Okay, give me one second. Just have a couple of things right here. Let me see. Okay. Let me just get it.
Hello. Did somebody finish the exercise? Hello, Walter. Hello, Ronald. Did you finish the, the exercise? Uh, no, I, I, I had a, a Wi Fi a Wi Fi problem and I was not able I wasn't able to to complete the exercises. Oh terrible. <laughs> All right, done. Okay, the first one was paint, painter, right? The first one. Washer, washer, <laughs> first, second, or third? From wash. Washer, right? From dry, dryer, the one in the middle as well. Fly, flyer, flyer. The one in the middle as well. Worker, worker, worker. So the first one, singer from sings, the last one. Teacher, the first one. The speaker, the last one. Thinker, the one in the middle. And dreamer, the last one. Did you get them all right? 10 out of 10. Yes. No teacher, I fell. Which fell one? Two. Two. And the washer, washer, and um, it's dryer uh, or flyer. Hi, hi, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's how we we make the nouns out from a verb. All right. Well, thank you for attending. We have just the last attendance. Let's see, we go fast. Abigail. Atilio. Elizabeth. Present. Emerson. Present. Fernando. Francisco. Hazel. 
Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Present. Miguel, Present. Manuel, Present. All, all your names sound very similar. <laughs> Miguel, Magdiel, Manuel, Marilyn. Present, Javier. Okay. Mario, Roberto, Present. Ronald. Present. Victor and Vidal were not here. Waldir and Carlos. Present. All right. Present, present. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Yes, tell me. I need your help. I have a, I had two issues with the platform. All right, tell me. Yeah, I have to let me see. You want to share a screen? The... Yes. All right, that go is. ahead. Screen. Let me see. I am finished, but yes, <laughs> that's nice. Let me see this. That's the one point seven, right? Yes, I I tried so many so many forms. I I can I can complete. Uh, oh, my. the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. The ship has is. The shipment will be delivered Let me move the control I can it's all right. the shipment will will be delivered. Will delivered as soon as the payment is received is received. No. Incorrect. Yes, it's incorrect. Mm -hmm. But that's the right way to say it. Probably the period. Si le pone punto. No. It's still wrong. It's still I wrong. I think yes. we, that, esa es la forma correcta. But, mm -hmm. no sé por qué la plataforma da error en esa, aunque se reportó muchas veces. Sí, y... uh -huh. pero pero es, así está correcto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. This is the problem. The, the... Uh -huh. Le había puesto qué. Ah, ok. The spelling. As soon as the payment. No, the, él lo está repitiendo el the. No, we'll be to live on the... As soon as the, the payment is received. I think I, I have to raise the period. The whole thing. The period. No. Ajá, es que no, es que da error, pero la, la oración sí es así, correcto. Ok. Ajá. Eh, el otro problema que tengo es... Sí. To be honest, I don't remember how we have to do... Let me see, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
Okay. The unit four. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> And you do uh, everything on the phone. Yes. Oh my goodness. It, it, because I am very tired of from the from, from the use computer. the laptop. Uh -huh. Yeah. I use the computer from seven a.m. in the morning until eleven sometimes. Yeah. Mm, for me, it's an excuse because I use the laptop or every day and. I share, 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 como la pongo a cargar en la noche. Charging. Uh -huh. Es this, I don't remember what I had to do in this. That the, is 3.5. Yes. 3.5, give me one second. I need to double check that one because I don't remember 3.5. Let me see, 3.5. Section one, two, three. The warehouse. Three point five. Okay, the instruction says read the warehouse issues below. Apply the corresponding punctuation. As I'm going to put the punctuation. Uh huh. Let me see. Let me see. Read now. Uh, okay, we remove items from carton and packages as a result. Pickers are not able to find them with it when they need to. We remove items from the carton and packages. Ahí va punto y coma. As a result, ah, después de la frase de de resultado, le pone coma. Uh -huh. Ajá. Solo es como antes poner la 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 close. We remove items. Items from cartons and packages, ahí va punto y coma. Y luego pone la frase de as a result, y ahí pone la coma. Y ahí todo lo demás va igual. Hay que poner toda la frase. Yes. But teacher, uh -huh. uh, in, that, in that section, uh -huh. as you already told how to do it, I have the same. I, well, for example, we remove items from, from cartons, cartons and packages. And packages. And um, semicolon. <laughs> semi semicolon. Uh -huh. As, As a, a result, result comma, comma, speakers are not, able to, are find not them able to find when them they when they need to. Uh -huh. And there is a period we, at the end. Yes. But we need to put the space. Which is space? Mm -hmm. After uh, between... after the semicolon, aquí no se lo han puesto con space. Si ustedes le ponen space, seguramente le van a poner, se lo va a poner mal. Pero debería llevar un space. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, it should, uh, ya llevar un espacio después de la punta y coma. It should have a space, yes. Pero aquí no lo han seteado con space. Por eso quise hacer un combo como wrong. But it's wrong. It's still wrong. Yes. Mm. After packages. After, after, after packages. packages? Yeah. Yeah, it's a semicolon. Semicolon. Después, eh, solo es coma. Es punto y coma. Punto y coma. Después mm -hmm. de hacer result, es coma. Ah, because ajá. they change the idea. Ajá. No. It's still wrong. Yes. Mm. Yo la tengo igual, pero ajá, solo dejé el espacio después del punto y coma. Y si lo tomo ah, correcto. Sí. Ajá, y no, esa la tengo mala, aún así la tengo mala, sí. incluso uh -huh. con el punto al final. Y pero esa es la forma correcta. Ajá. Eja, y creo que hay un error en la plataforma. Quiero Pickers ver. are. ¿Y te está el final? Mm, Pickers are. Not able to. No able to need to, ¿sí? Okay. La tengo igualita. Y si le dan de vuelta. Hecho, solo la última me salió buena. De toda la tarea. De todas, ajá. Bye. Lo voy a reportar. Hopefully for tomorrow we can have a, a, a re, I mean, a, an answer. A okay. result okay. answer. Yes. I okay. have the problem with the, hay una que solo da 15, it is. Uh -huh. Da 15. Mm. Esta creo que solo da 15. Ya oh, really? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, es 
Ok. Sí, solo da 15 puntos. De 20. Aunque estén todas correctas. Sí. Sí. Ok. Vaya, hagan un screenshot. Si los ponen en el grupo, igual yo lo voy a reforzar mañana. Porque ahorita, I don't think nobody's attending that. <ríe> Sí, sería de la de esa, de la 3.9 y la 3.7, eh, Luis. 3.7. Ajá, la 3.7. No, 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 esa no, la otra. La que le daba toda es correcta, la que estamos poniendo, es el result. 3.7. Esta. Esa, uh -huh. esa, 3.5, perdón. 3.5 y 3.9. Yeah. Ok, perfecto. Ok, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, partner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I try so many so many yes, but I think it's it, yeah, parts. it's it's the setting of the of the page. It's not the the grammar is incorrect. <laughs> yes, yeah, I need I need to finish the platform then. I know as soon as possible. <laughs> All right, share the screenshots, please. Okay. All Thank right. you, teacher. You're I welcome. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night, night teacher. Good night. Good night. I have to. I can send you in the chat. Yes, send it in the. In WhatsApp chat, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.